business, trying to be, trying to be likable to everybody. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark 7, 
Mark 7. Then I want you to, I want you to make a reference. And I, I, I choose to use Mark number 7, the seventh chapter of Mark. You get in at 24 verse 1. Mark and, and Matthew, and Luke also tells us that Matthew tells a whole lot of other stuff that Mark doesn't. And every once in a while, I'm going to have to go back and refer uh, to what Matthew said against what Mark writes right. so you can get the picture. Right. This is the conclusion of the message that was preached a couple weeks ago. This woman, it says, it says, and, and from this he, uh, the 24th verse says, and from this he, he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered into a house and would have no man know it. But he could not be hid because he was Jesus. Right. You, can't, you can't hide Jesus. Right. You can't hide it in you. If, if Jesus is hid in you, it's simply because he's not in you. All right. All right. If, if Jesus is anyway in you, he's going to come out. Well, let me get for a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit. Now Matthew says she was possessed, and heard of him and came and fell at his feet. Matthew doesn't say that. Matthew said she cried after him. And the woman was Greek, a, a, a Syrophoenician by na nation, and she brought and she besought, besought Jesus that he would cast the devil out of a door. Now those of you who can agree with me as we do this introduction, those of you who have children and raise children, you know that every once in a while, not all the time, that our children act like right. right. they possessed by a devil. Amen. 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 They, 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 sometimes the devil gets in them. He don't stay there. But every once in a while, if you got children, they're going to surprise you one day and you're going to act like they got a devil. Well, it says here, it says here, she wanted him to cast out the devil out of her door. And then it said, but Jesus said unto her, Jesus said unto her, now if you go to Matthew, Matthew says that when she asked Jesus, just read it in the 15th chapter, you can go there if you want. Matthew said that when she asked Jesus that, Jesus did not answer. He ignored her. We'll come with him back. You go, go to 15. He says, he says to her, let the children first be filled. Mm -hmm. For it is not me to take the children bread and cast it unto the dogs. Mm -hmm. And she, and look, 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 watch this, watch this. And she answered and said unto him, yes, Lord. I'm, I'm going to come back in a minute. Yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. All right. Matthew said, she said, she said, but the dog, but the dogs even eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Mm -hmm. And he said unto her, for this same, for what you just said, All right. go your way. The devil is gone out of your daughter. And when she had come home or come to her house, she found the devil gone out. Lord Jesus had mercy. And her daughter was laid upon the bed. Amen. Amen. Flower fades. Flower withered and the grass withered and flower fades. But the word of God is so never ever pass away. Amen. 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 This makes number four. Now we should have to preach this passage again, no more this year. <laughs> <laughs> Even if now that ain't got nothing to do with somebody who invite you that comes in and read from it. That's, that's God telling you you need it a fifth time. <laughs> Right now, he's saying this is, if ever there was a person who had nothing 
going for them. Nothing going right. You ever been like that? I mean, you do your best, and nothing goes right. And then sometimes you, you have to go off and ask the Lord, I don't understand. I'm doing it like you say do it. I can't get these ends to meet. But if ever there was a person that had nothing working for her, it was this one. Everything that made her who she was was working against her. Nothing in her life was a plus to her in Jesus' disciples' sight. Everything that made sure, everything she was, everything about her, everything she represented, it was a negative to the boys. She was a woman, negative. That's a good thing, though. <laughs>
I walk up to you and I, I can see Jesus in you a mile away. <laughs> and I know when he ain't. Just just because you 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 can sit up in church. I wish I could stay right there. I mean, you know, sometimes we in church you 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 don't preach to all the Jesus. All right. <laughs> the, the Bible said the woman daughter had a devil in her. Now wait, wait, no, no, no. It, it said, now it, it didn't say she had D devil. All right. It said she had a devil. Mm -hmm. She had a devil that worked for D devil. Right. And when folk come to church sometimes, they don't bring the devil with them. They bring a devil. I, I wish I, I wish I could stay right there. Watch it, watch it, watch it. She, 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 uh, I suspect that many people are not lifted up in worship service enough because we don't have a need. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now watch it, watch it. Your need has to be greater than your present If you got a need and it's driving you and you're stuck in neutral, what you need has to be greater than where you stand. All right, all right. Look, look, look. She was considered a dog, and, and that's by that's that's by that's that, that's by culture because because when and I'm going back to tell you this, I want you to get this. When, when, when the Lord tell Moses and tell Joshua back in the book of Deuteronomy, he said, now I'm going to give you some land. Yeah. And then he said, you're going to stay in some houses you didn't build. Right. You're going you're gonna to eat from some vineyards you didn't plant. And you're going to drink from some wells that you didn't dig. He said, but when you do all of that and you start sitting down and you're thinking you did it all by yourself, he said, that's the time I want you to remember it was me who gave it to you. Yeah. And he said, in all of the well, eat those vineyards, you're going to find some people that's already there. Yeah. He said, but what you have to do, you got to get over there, and I want you to kill everybody you find there. Don't let a person be alive. But most of those boys did not kill those women. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I wish I could stay All right, right there. <laughs> they, they start intermingling with these women. These, these purebred Jews did not like those other Jews intermingling with the Canaanite women. Uh -huh. So they drove those Canaanites. That started the hatred. That started the Jews hating the Canaanites. Uh -huh. And then when they mixed breeded and had children, when the Jewish men had children by the Canaanite women, they produced another race of people that was called the Samaritans. And that group went off and, 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 and started their own little region and called themselves Samaritans. That's why when Jesus met the woman at the well, she was Samaritan, she said, and when Jesus spoke to her, she said, you can't be talking to me. <laughs> because Jews and Samaritans don't mix as well as Jews and Canaanite, the Jews just hate everybody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she was Canaanite. She heard about Jesus. And look, when she get to Jesus, I let them do it. When, when she gets to Jesus, Matthew says, she asked Jesus, she said, Lord, yes. if you read the 15th chapter of Matthew, it says, and when she asked Jesus, Jesus did not answer that. Mm -hmm. He spoke not a word. He ignored her. Now look, y'all, y'all, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100% sane. Uh -huh. I know that's surprising. No idea. Matter of fact, let me, let me, can I walk? Can I take another okay. step with that? Hey. Nobody in here is one day. All right. All right. You, you know what we all trying to do? We all trying to get there. Mm -hmm. But there's stuff that comes up against us that keeps us from getting one hundred percent. I would feel safe to say I'm somewhere around ninety five. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and I also feel safe to say that, that but it's not, it's not the 95% that's going to get me into heaven. Oh, no. It's the 5% that's going to keep 
the hour. Right. Right. Amen. Well. Now, 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 I say that to say this, that, that, that I, I could imagine the sister because, because when I'm talking to a person and they act like they don't get me. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. I got a problem. Yeah. I'm talking to a person and they pretending to do something else. <laughs> I got a problem with that. I'm talking to a person and they walking away from me. I got a problem with that. So this woman approached Jesus, called Jesus' name, makes her request known to Jesus, and Jesus ignores her. Matthew says she starts screaming. She starts, she starts hollering. She She was a sister. <laughs> <laughs> the whole story would change. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's one thing, uh, David, you don't do. <laughs> you don't ignore a sister. <laughs> Amen. Let 
And she, she cries after Jesus. And Jesus finally, Mark says she, she comes up to Jesus and she falls at his feet. She says, Lord, my daughter is at home. She is, she is possessed by a devil. Uh, and, and Jesus, I, I, don't, I, I don't know, but I can imagine Jesus came back because he knew the history of the Jews and the Canaanites and the Greeks. He knew they were called dogs. They were considered to be the lowest on the total pole. They were considered to be nothing. Dog, mystery, half breeds, and all this kind of stuff, and all this kind of stuff. And then a woman at that in public crying behind Jesus, and Jesus stops and said, "But what you would have me to do would take meat from the children and give it to the dog." Now wait a minute. Now, I don't know, I'm not, I told y'all I'm 95% safe. All right. Okay. And now that, that definitely, Brother Norwood, that definitely wasn't no sister he was talking to. Because, because she would have said, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't go there. <laughs> Hold it, Brother Jesus. I don't need it that bad. You can take your blessing oh, and you know you, that could have been a sister he was talking to. But you know what the woman said to Jesus? Look what she said. After Jesus said, but you want me to give the meat to the, uh, to the children and you want me to give it to the dog, she could have went on back home. She could have took that insult and really wasn't an insult. She could have took that and went on back to her. Husband. But you know what she said? Look what she said. Look, look what she said. She said, yes, Lord. She said, she said, yes, hallelujah, amen. She didn't go nowhere because she knew that if it, my, my suspicion is this, if she would have been there just for herself, she went on back, I, I ain't gonna take all this, right? And you know, that, that, that's some stuff, that's some stuff that you can say to us who are parents that we are taking. Because we can take it. Well, Rem Jack, he ain't no good. I'll take that. Yeah. Rem Jackson ain't right. That's fine. I, I just don't like Rem Jack. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't even want to deal with it. Okay, bye. <laughs> but then, that's me. But then in a different context, if you come to me and say, Rem Jackson, Ray Ray ain't no good. We got a problem now. <laughs> We, 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 we got a serious problem now. Though. What Reverend Jackson will take, because he's grown, he's not going to take it when you put his children in. This woman was taking stuff because she was grown enough to take it, but her knees went. She needed her daughter healed. And Jesus was the only one can heal.